What's up techies? Did you know that you can now add assessments to your courses? Oh yes, you can add multiple choice questions, you can add pass and fail conditions and get amazing data and analytics from them too. So to add assessments to your courses in your Techmatics account, log in, go to sites and courses, memberships and courses and click on products and it will take you to your courses area. Uh, pick up one of your courses that you want to add an assessment to and it will take you into your curriculum builder where you add your modules and your lessons. Now what you'll see is a little plus button at the top of every module that you have. By the way, you add uh, modules by creating categories and then inside each module you've got a little plus button here that allows you to add more lessons, add subcategories and now, oh yes, add assessments and <laughs> check it out. So let's call this, I don't know, end of module quiz or something, just for the sake of example, press save. And uh, you can go back and change that title anytime you like. And it says, woohoo, new assessments created, right? We've got our little uh, quiz area right here. So you can click straight on the lesson or click on the pen, whichever you like. Click on there and it will take you into the assessment or quiz editing area. And this is where you can now begin to add all of your different questions, features, pass grades, and then so on that you want people to be able to meet in order to continue through your program. So for instance, if your students actually have to reach a certain percentage, a certain amount of correct answers, uh, a certain passing level in order to get through your course, you're simply gonna tick the box that said, this quiz requires a passing grade. And so this basically here is it might be, you know, they have to get 80% correct before they can pass. How good is that? So if you're doing any kind of accredited training, working against uh, any kind of curriculum, this is a really powerful way for you to start working with those features. Um, then what we have here is you have your pass and fail confirmation messages. So let's pretend you passed, you know, this is where you're going to put who you have passed this module, go get champers. <laughs> All right. So that's where you're going to obviously put the message there to let them know that they have passed. If they fail, that's where you're going to put your message there. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, please go back to bed. <laughs> All right, no, obviously you're going to put something a bit more sensible than that. I'm just doing a demo. All right, so now we're going to um, go in and uh, we can press save at any point, by the way. Uh, so if you kind of, before you want to start adding your questions in, if you want to save that before you move on. You're going to press add a question at the very bottom of your screen. Now you can add as many questions as you like, my friends. This is unlimited here in Techmatics. So question one, we're going to click on the question and that's where we start to be able to um, pop in what kind of question it is. Is it a single choice question or is it a multiple choice question? Then you have what is the question. So I'm going to put in, you know, uh, what does Sarah like best okay um, and then we're going to add a choice and option one is uh, red wine and I'm going to tell you now well, that's the correct option <laughs> and option two um, might be a banana shake right which I also like very much but I definitely prefer red wine all right so you can see here I could keep on adding in more choices let's add in a third choice uh, and let's put in liver and onions. All right, um, and now we can actually add in explanations as well. You can see here, right? So add an explanation. Um, and the explanation is Sarah loves red wine the best because it rocks. Yes, she does, right? Because X, Y, Z. Blah, 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 blah. So you've got your explanations now in there as to why that was the correct or the incorrect answer. So make sure you've checked the correct option and press save. Now, if any of you ever used like Thinkific, this basically is exactly the same as the quiz feature in there. So now I've added question one, now I can add in question two and obviously continue um, with that process. So I'm gonna press save on this um, for the moment. Uh, all questions must have an option. Uh, so we can click on these three little dots and delete that question. Uh, you will have noticed there that we also uh, could have um, cloned the previous question as well. But anyway, I'm going to press save and then I'm going to click on preview just to show you what this looks like from the student side. Now, by the way, inside Techmatics, all of your account can be customized 
branded however you like. So this would all be, uh, ch you choose your own theme, you choose your own layout, you can change all these colors, you can change the menu here. Uh, this is what an absolute blank slate, completely uncustomized um, area looks like. So don't think this is what your school would look like. You would edit this, obviously. We're in a demo account at the moment that we've not done anything to. But you can see here in the theme that we've chosen for this demo account, um, the student will see this. They've got all of their lessons here. They press start quiz. And you'll now just see basically what we've built out here. So question number one, what does Sarah like best? Is it A, red wine, B, a banana shake, or C, liver and onions? So let's say uh, they picked the wrong answer, press submit. Now then hopefully they should get, oh, it's not letting me do it, is it? All right, guys, make sure you take it out of draft mode. <laughs> it has to be published for this to actually work. So that's what we had going on over here. I'm just going to refresh that. So if you're finding when you do your previews, when you're testing these things out, if it's not working, you probably didn't press publish and it's still set to draft. <laughs> so that's pretty important. Now, in terms of where do you find the information, um, you are going to go back into your memberships and courses area and click on analytics. Now, this is where you can see all of your students course progress. But now that we have assessments live, you'll also see your assessment analytics right here as well. Now, obviously, this is a pretend account. We don't have any real students in here, so we're not going to have any data to show. But this is where it will show you the name of the assessment, the name of the individual, their email address, uh, whether they completed the assessment or not what their results and percentage actions actually are and of course any actions uh, down the side there so there we go having assessments uh, you know it may not be required in your kinds of courses but the fact that we have them now makes this a game changer for so many businesses if you've got any questions contact us on support at techmatics.com happy tech in